In this video, you will learn how to solve kinematic equations using the kinematic chart below. A car traveling at 18 meters per second slows down with a constant acceleration of negative 1.0 meters per second squared. What is the car's displacement after 10 seconds? The first thing we want to do is to create our, our variables chart. In the problem, we see that the initial velocity is 18 meters per second. The acceleration is negative 1 meter per second squared, and the time is 10 seconds, and we're looking for the displacement. So what we want to do is to look at the variable that's not being used. The variable that's not being used in this problem is the final velocity. So from here, we're going to go down and look at our chart. We're going to find the equation that doesn't have final velocity, and that's going to be equation number 2. That's the equation we're going to be using. Before we continue, it's helpful to just draw a little sketch of the problem. Um, it just it can just be a really simple sketch; doesn't have to be very detailed. Um, I'm going to show that the car is moving towards the right. That's the velocity. The acceleration is to the left, and then we'll also we're going to make the right positive. So the right is positive. Okay. So now we're going to um, write down our equation, which is delta x equals vit plus 1 over 2 at squared. All right. So the next step is substitution. Um, vi is 18. The time is 10 plus 1 over 2. Acceleration is negative 1. And the time is 10 squared. So we want to make sure we square that first before we multiply the other numbers. And then um, we get 180 plus, um, so 10 squares 100 divided by 2 is 50, but that will be a negative 50, negative 50, um, and 180 minus 50 is 130. And we're going to go ahead and box our answer. So this car, while it is um, uh, slowing down um, over the 10 seconds, uh, will travel 130 meters. All right, let's take a look at our second problem. Um, now we have a bicyclist uh, pulls uh, the brake lever and slows from 7.57 meters per second to 5.09 meters per second, accelerating at negative 4.86 meters per second squared. How far did the bicyclist travel during the slowdown? Okay, so we're starting with 7.57, 7.57 meters per second, and um, uh, we slow down to 5.09 meters per second. The acceleration is negative 4.86 meters per second squared. They want to know how far. Okay, so the equation that's the variable that's not being used in this problem is going to be the t. And so I'm going to come over here. I'm going to look at my chart, which equation does not have t. And that's going to be the third equation. So I'm going to write down the third equation, which is vf squared equals vi squared plus 2a delta x. Okay, so then the next step is going to be substitution. Um, vf is 5.09 squared. vi is 7.57 squared plus 2a. a is negative 4.86 times delta x. Uh, 5.09 squared is 25.9. 7.57 squared is 57.3. And then 2 times uh, negative 4.86. Um, we get a negative 9.72 times delta x. Okay. Um, so now we're solving for delta x. Uh, and so I'm going to subtract 57.3 on both sides. Uh, so I get negative 31.4. And then I get uh, negative 9.72. On the right-hand side, you're going to notice that the negatives will cancel out. So the negatives will cancel out. And then divide both sides by 9.72. And delta x, we get 3.23 meters. So this bicyclist travels 3.23 meters um, 
uh, as it travels from 7.57 meters per second to 5.09 meters per second of speed. Now let's look at a problem where we're solving for acceleration. Uh, once again, we're going to fill out our variables chart. Uh, a skier decelerates from 30.7 meters per second to 1.7 meters per second. So we have 30.7 meters per second uh, to the final velocity is 1.7 uh, meters per second in 2.97 seconds. 2.97 seconds. Determine the acceleration rate. So in this problem, we're looking for the acceleration and the variable that's not being used is delta x. So we're going to go down to our chart and then look for which uh, equation doesn't have delta x, which is the first one, and that's going to be the one we're going to use. So that's going to be vf equals vi plus at. The final velocity is 1.7. Initial velocity is 30.7 plus a times the t, which is 2.97. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to subtract 30.7 on both sides. So subtract 30.7 on both sides. That's going to give me negative 29 on the left. On the right-hand side, I have it's going to be 2.97 times a. Divide both sides by 2.97 on both sides. And a, I get negative 9. 0.76 meters per second squared. So this gear, uh, while slowing down, is accelerating at uh, negative 9.76 meters per second squared. So at this point, I encourage you to um, pause this video and try to solve this problem on your own. Um, and once you have made an attempt, even if you get stuck, um, at, least, at least you've thought through the problem, then go ahead and play it and see if you um, got the right answer. So in this problem, uh, we've got a car traveling at 27 meters per second. Um, I'll go ahead and put that down. So 27.8 um, meters per second, and it slows to a velocity of 11.9 11 11 .9 meters per second. 11.9 meters per second over 11.7 seconds over 11.7 seconds and uh, this question they want to know how far does it move during this time so how far does it move during this time and so we're looking for the acceleration so in this problem we're looking for uh, sorry in this problem we're looking for displacement but the acceleration is the variable that's not being used so I'm going to go down to my uh, chart here. This is the variable not, not being used. And uh, we see that it's going to be equation number four. So that's the equation that we're going to use for for this problem. Um, so that's delta x equals uh, one half times vi plus vf times t. So we're going to next uh, substitute. So we have half times 27.8 plus 11.9 uh, times t, which is 11.7. Okay, so in the parentheses, uh, if we add uh, 27.8 plus 11.9, we get 39.7 times 11.7. And then we're going to multiply all these together, and we get uh, 232, rounded, uh, meters. So uh, during this time of slowing down, the car travels 232 meters.